Welcome to our video abstract. I'm Charlie Kai from the University of Liverpool. In this paper, we study the role and information content of CSR assurance. The significant shift to CSR and ESG in the investment world is a welcome trend. According to the Bloomberg, the asset under management with this mandate will exceed 53 trillion by 2025, which will account for a third of the projected total of the global investment funds. Accounting for corporate social responsibility of companies are essential for investment decisions, but also for reporting and monitoring the overall ESG profile of a portfolio. CSR reporting play a pivotal role in this, and there has been global effort for improving and standardizing the quality of these reports. CSR assurance has emerged as one of the tools to adjust the credibility gap through external independent and impartial verification. However, there is still regulatory debate on whether to mandate external assurance of CSR reports and to what extent. The opinions are still divided. This is not a surprise as running parallel there are questions raised in the academic literature. CSR assurance may be adopted either symbolically or substantially in voluntary setting. Both superior and inferior CSR reporters may voluntarily purchase CSR assurance. The challenge is how to separate responsible firm from optimistic firm. In this paper, we take up this challenge by examining the combination of an objective CSR reporting quality measure and the take-up of voluntary assurance by CSR reporting firms. We use the inconsistency in the managerial behavior to infer the true motive of a company's CSR reporting. Specifically, we start with companies who produce CSR reports. They can then choose to take up assurance or not. We then look at their CSR reporting quality afterwards. The intuition of our hypothesis is that more ethically responsible firms would in general provide high quality CSR reports to reduce information asymmetry in their CSR commitments. They will further take up assurance to increase the cost for less responsible firm to imitate. By contrast, if lower quality firm with less or less ethical managers will seek external assurance to legitimate their CSR reports. The service they seek will also be of low quality and this will not lead to um, improvement in CSR reporting quality. Therefore, low quality CSR reporting, despite they have been assured, is an indication of less genuine commitment to CSR reporting. And we call these companies uh, opportunistic assurance takers. Our main empirical tests are to ver verify this type of optimistic firm indeed exhibit optimistic behavior in other managerial decisions. To do this, we look into a sample of global companies where CSR assurance is voluntary. Here are our key findings. Optimistic assurance takers are more likely to engage in real earnings management and have higher information asymmetry measured by analyst forecast errors and variance. 
This confirms this company is potentially less ethical and the decision of external assurance doesn't bring benefit to the information environment. It suggests it is a bad decision and reflecting a poor management quality. Second, when we study the market consequence of the opportunistic behavior, we do not find obvious market failure. We find that investors value the opportunistic company relatively lower, and also the indexes such as the Dow Jones Sustainability Index is less likely to include them as a result. In other words, their attempt to pool with high quality CSR reporters has failed. The market and investor are able to treat this company differently. Finally, we document that optimistic assurance behavior are more prominent in weaker investor protection countries. In these countries, we also confirm that external assurance has a weaker effect of improving the reporting quality of the optimistic firms. This is consistent with the view that managers are more optimistic in the environment where they are less held accountable. We contribute to the literature by identifying and verifying the optimistic behavior in assurance take-up and study its economic consequence in a wide range of economic variable. We extend the existing literature on managerial decisions spill over to further confirm that good managers will do good to do well for their companies, while bad managers may attempt to use external assurance to potentially greenwash their reports. We contribute to the ongoing debates on whether to mandate CSR assurance for CSR reporters. Our findings suggest that making CSR assurance compulsory will not solve the greenwashing problem as long as there are low quality assurance services available. Arguably, it will only add complying costs to companies. The core of the problems seems to be the quality of assurance. Therefore, more regulatory efforts should put into improving the oversight of the assurance standard and quality. And this is especially important in markets with lower level of investor protections. Thank you for your attention. Our paper is available on SSRN and ResearchGate. Your comments and suggestions are most welcome. Thank you and see you next time.